To make a long fucking story short, I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. And it's 24 hours later and I, don't, I ain't find none yet. Please make sure your seat back is in the upright position. Your table is close and your seat belt is faster. Cairo, please, we're trying to do a show over here. What's going on? Sorry, I was Come a on. little I was yeah. a little busy. We are just starting our show. Yeah. Um, yes. I don't know. What time is it? 8.04. Um, we're going to be live on Instagram for a little bit. Cairo, enough, dog. I need you to chill. Let me tell you why I felt stupid this, before you got over here. One, so the other day I went to Target because I needed a couple things. Okay. I needed... Um, me neither. Turn me up. Oh. I'm just going to wait until he's done. Okay. As I was saying, let me tell you why I felt stupid earlier. I had to go to Target the other day. Let's see if this mic wants to put work today. Perfect. I had to go to Target the other day. Went to the today? Girlfriend. No. You thought you said it was today. It was the other day. It was a couple days ago. I had a couple things I needed to buy. Shampoo, conditioner, soap, something else I don't remember. You don't use three in ones, right? No. Good. You, you seen you seen five in one? There's like five <laughs> in five. one. There's like face. What is it? Face, body, sham shampoo, oh. conditioner, and a waiter. And what, what? what? waiter? <laughs> Why is there five things? Hold on, hold on. I got. I oh, and to shave and like shaving. Shaving cream. cream. Gross. Gross. So I go to Target the other day because I gotta uh, buy things, <laughs> and. Not only do I forget to buy soap, <laughs> I just realized in the shower that I was taking right now that I bought two things of shampoo. <laughs> Instead of shampoo and I've conditioner, I bought two things of shampoo. Because they, they would look the same, right? They're they in the, the like same. the same bottles yeah, and whatnot. I've done that before. So I bought shampoo oh. and conditioner. Mm. No, I bought shampoo and shampoo because I'm used to the white bottle being my conditioner thing. I get like, okay, I don't okay. know what it, the thing is called, but <laughs> okay. what not. You get the big bottle at uh, Sally's. They got like the big. What is Sally's? Sally's is like for like hairdressers or they try to be for hairdressers. But anybody can go to Sally's and get like huge like things of shampoo and conditioner and, and like things that professionals might use. I should screen record this so I can get the comments in case there's a good thing. It'll show up on the. We're also live. I'm not going to say, I don't want that big, I mean, I guess I'm saving it either way. I'm screen recording or I'm saving, saving it anyway. Either way, you'd have two copies. We're this live. sounds weird. We're, I sound weird in my thing. We're live on Instagram, but if you're missing it out, it's because you're not a big enough fan. He still has a limp noodle mic, if, you, if you're aware. <laughs> limp noodle. I got to buy a new one. Limp, see. limp noodle. On yours, there's a little thing, like a, a little, little dial yeah. to make sure it's locked Why in place. Why don't you have a too. dial? Because I have a, a cord that's supposed to attach to it oh. and run through the thing. Okay. But the cord on the thing broke. Just hold it straight up. You're going to be a little old-fashioned game show network host. Welcome back to The Price is Right. Welcome to Family Feud. Today we've got the Jones family going against the White family. Family Feud is always black versus white. 
well, when it's black versus black, I'm like, which one is better? That's what I do. How do you decide, though? By the, I the, hate the first person. huh? I hate this. Uh, continue. Going keep going. Keep going. No. The holding the mic, but keep going. <laughs> How do you decide who's better? <laughs> you decide by the person that they, that the, the main person, the first person that goes up and asks the question. Then if they're trash, then I don't care about the rest of the family. Because, you know, like, is like the first person is usually like the head of family or the person that got them into or, or submitted the reel or whatever. Mm-hmm. So the first person is submitted some wild, crazy answers and the rest are just like, <coughs> then it's, oh, uh, it's cringe. I need the, I need the head of household. I need he, the strongest member to be numero uno. I feel like I should practice holding the mic because if I don't hear for a while that I was going to do my stand-up comedy bit. And when I do stand-up comedy, I'm going to have to what, hold the but mic. But you will probably have a, you should have a cordless mic then. No, the, I don't know how upscale the place I'm going to go to. It's going to be my first time going. You I think mean, it's going to be an but, upscale but place I said with cordless thing, mics? You're going to need a, a more supportive, a bigger audience so that they, you, they, that you can feed off of energy. When I go do my first stand-up comedy bit, will you come and laugh no matter what I say? Yeah. That didn't sound genuine. I feel I I I usually laugh when you say things, and I probably will, most likely will. I'm funny. You are. I, I feel mean, like if you that. have to scream it out loud that you're <laughs> I mean, funny, I was you're not say, funny at all. I was going to say, like, don't ever say that again, but, you know, sure. I feel like I'm pitchy. Are you good? You're not. Time's a ticking. Hey, guys, on the okay. line, can you see if his nose is bloody? Stop. Don't talk about it. I cut my nose while I was shaving Just today. Just do a close-up. Because I was going a little too fast. I was going... Let's see the mic has it. I was going... And I went... I, went. I didn't notice at first. Your family. Look, look and see if you see his... Clo- his uh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's I didn't. I, I didn't notice at first because I'm a little tipsy. And at first, I was combing my hair, and I was like, wow, this doesn't hurt, probably because I'm a little drunk. Mm-hmm. Normally, when I comb my hair and get all those knots, it hurts a little bit. Uh-huh. Who are these people joining? Uh-huh. Hi, welcome How anyway. How do we have? Two. We're popular. Numero dos. We are popular. Popular. And. I know about popular. Can we start the show? We're We're here. This is the show. This is the bonus show. This is the bonus episode. It's part alive. What about the audience that is on YouTube? We have to acknowledge them. This camera's been rolling. By by Tuesday next week, I'll have a new mic be, mic stand because this is driving me crazy and I cannot deal with this. <laughs> Before it didn't want to it didn't want to lean towards me. It kept popping <laughs> up, whatnot. It was up and it was stuck. Last Tuesday, which feels like a week ago, I don't know why it Last wanted to keep Tuesday. falling. Yeah, you're right. It, it does feel like a week. It ago. feels so long ago. I feel like I when we upload episode and we're, we're going like through the process, like going through the comments and such, it's such a a whirlwind of things because we're like, hopefully this does better than that one that we thought was good. That was blind wasn't ice good. cream truck driver. Yes, check that, that one out, episode. please. What was it? Episode six. My, eh, it was okay. I was in. I was into it in on the day. Yes. Some days I'm here and I'm doing the episode. And I'm like. As we're talking, I go, this is so boring. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so not interested into anything I am saying right now. Your things are fine. (laughs) But anything I'm saying, I'm like, I'm just talking in order to fill time. Now, I feel like, okay, when you watch it, not when you're editing it so much, but when you watch it, are you looking at yourself only? Because like when I'm watching it, I'm just like, what am I doing? I don't watch it. I do the sound, and then when I match the sound to the video mm-hmm. i only go through like i'll match the first starting point mm-hmm. and then i'll just click 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 until i find a point where it's not matching anymore okay and okay. then i'll figure out where it stopped matching and i'll fix that okay. that's easier than having to get immersed because i'm times. not watch i've listened to it once yeah i am not watching it <laughs> a, and listening to it a second time i'm a big i'm a big person <laughs> i'm a person that likes to rewatch things constantly not constantly but you know i guess i'm 
I like but to rewatch movies. When I go through and I add the timestamps, mm-hmm. then I watch it at two times the speed, mm-hmm. just so I can figure out the times and times and times and times. I haven't been able to br- embrace that. To YouTube at time. two times the speed is the best way and to I hear watch that YouTube. Once you go into that realm, you never go back. Yeah, because I... why would you watch YouTube at normal speed when you can consume? twice the amount of content yeah. when you watch that two times the speed. But also, I watch different content on YouTube. Like, I just showed him a, a video where a woman was explaining, long story short, she put a whole bag of jelly beans. It'll be at the beginning of this episode. Butt. Yeah. So. I mean, who hasn't, though? When's uh, when's the last time you put a bag of jelly beans up your butt? Mine was been a while. three days ago? It's been a while, you know. Two, ridiculous. three days max. Is it like a satchel or is it like a whole bag? A bag? Is it like a Birkin bag? I don't know what a Birkin bag is. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't have money like it. that. All right. What do we got today? Um, welcome to the bonus episode of the Angel. How are you going to welcome show? them in 10 minutes into the episode? Talk for 10 minutes and not welcome them in? That's my uh, question. 15 minutes in. You're not putting all 15 minutes in there. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You think I won't? Okay, this is a bonus episode. There were things I didn't get to also, on Tuesday. What? R.I.P. DMX. I and don't that's listen. It, and that's it. And that's it. That's all That's all we care about. That's that's it. I don't... I've never listened to anything from DMX. So it's like... I'm sure if you played a... Okay, dang. I guess you don't want to hear. <laughs> Stop talking now. Let's talk about reboots for a quick no. second of the Powerpuff Girls. I don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're talking about just the Powerpuff Girls. How trash the trash those freaking okay. um shots were. Let me say. Why is Buttercup always got to be the? Why is the the more disgruntled? One always gonna be the uh minority. I don't. She's uh, not the only minority. They. Uh, I don't know her real name. I watched her in Shield. She's she's in there as Blossom right now. Mm-hmm. And I was looking. I was like, who is? I think her name's Chloe Bennett. She was in Agents of Shield. Uh-huh. Went on for like seven seasons. I just rewatched it like a month ago. Never seen it. So good. Heard it was good. such a good show. She's so great in it. And um, you're just spoiling them for our show. I kind of watch anyway. It'll be completely different. Um, I had a, I looked it up because I was like, why is Powerpuff Girls trending? Saw her. I was like, I recognize her. Found the name. Looked it up. I was like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. She's really good. Then I saw Bubbles. I was like, I saw all who three of is them this little hoe? Looking like they're wearing some 50 cent store by outfits with some ugly tube socks. Like, I don't know. Hopefully, they're... It's the hand because the picture's going to be right here as you explain yeah. them. And from the people that I was, like, um, following, they were just like, please don't let these be the outfits. Please, like, They why? can't wear that all the time. No. So, I'm, I, if I'm thinking of a reason why they might be wearing something like that is, like, because they're doing flashbacks. Maybe they do a flashback when they're wearing very simplistic, basic, uh, traditional outfits of what we're used to. And then they move on to something that actually looks wearable and not like trash. So I guess we'll see that. I I'm, I won't see it. I won't be seeing. I'll it. watch it. I don't know. I I, I love. Want to watch the preview. I like the CW a lot. I think they have most of the shows of that have been on there, other than Supernatural, was like the only one I don't watch. Yeah. I've I enjoyed. It. Yeah. Um. I didn't finish the originals. Oh my gosh, um, so good! I Vampire Diaries, Originals, The Circle, Arrow, Flash, the, Supergirl. I gave up on Batwoman. I gave up on. Um, I never even started Supergirl or Batgirl. They got a. They do a lot of the DC superhero yeah. shows, which is the only thing DC is good at is yeah, doing the TV shows. But movies, DC has movies terrible. Yeah. TV shows great. Yeah. Let's fill up my Animated glass. Animated shows are great. You just been drinking. I don't know what's going on with his liver, but things are hopping. Things are hopping about this. Can we talk about Publix and Let's vaccine? Let's wrap it up for Pop of Growth. Okay. In if conclusion. you think they're going to be good, we're going to put up a poll on our community post. We don't I, have I will, that. 
Yes, we do. We do. I, I saw that. It. I saw that we couldn't have it until we had a thousand followers. I will put this up on Instagram. Or Instagram or you or Twitter yeah. somewhere. It'll It'll be somewhere. On Instagram. Um, because who's going to Twitter? Okay. Um, <laughs> go to I'll our put Twitter poll. Whether you think it's actually going to be good, like the entirety of it, going to be actually good and worth watching. I'll put that up. But um, what do you want to move on to, Joey, with your limp mic? Can't can't pull yourself together for nothing. My mic's as drunk as I am. Mm-hmm. Are we still live? Oh, hey guys. Okay. Should Pop- I think if we were filming? I needed. There were things that I needed an angel's opinion on. Um. Okay. Publix and vaccine passports. One. You heard about vaccine passports, like yeah. needing a vaccine in order to travel to a well, place. Well, that is also very normal. I think the is way it that it's, though? Yeah, you do. Need you need a vaccine to go to school and the yeah, go to, but to travel into certain countries. Like you need to have up your vaccines need to be updated. My body, my choice. But also, like, if, if we're gonna be pro abortion, <laughs> we need to be pro anti COVID vaccine. And also, I feel like you. Should, I feel like you should know this because you've taken flights. Like, everybody's gone through middle school, so you've already gone through, you know, them asking you, have you had your vaccination? If, your, your parents. If I it. need to take the vaccine in order to go see my family, I will be so annoyed. I will take it, mm-hmm. but I will be so annoyed. But, like, they might as well just come and see me because you don't need that here. And it's so much nicer here. It's so much nicer for whom? For the people who live in cold weather. Oh, oh, oh you mean like six months oh, you a mean year? Weather. I'm thinking about the like it. Plus, entire you can go to the beach, and it's beaches are better. Everything's better. Everything's better in Florida. You've never lived anywhere else. That, that is true. I I've lived in three it. different states. Which other state besides Jersey? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. It's just like right I think down. If I would move to another state, it would be North Carolina. I hear a lot of people are moving there, and it's a great environment. So I like North Carolina. North Carolina. I've I hear there are black people there too. Is Myrtle Be- Myrtle Beach in North Carolina? Hell if I know. Or is that South Carolina? Let me tell you. Audience? Audience, look it up. Where's Myrtle Beach? Because I took a vacation once to Myrtle Beach and it was so nice. There was like a pool right where we could walk to and then so what beyond the pool. You, you didn't know where you were. It must be in Pennsylvania or New Jersey if you've been there. I was probably like sixteen, seventeen. So you were in New Jersey. I was probably a senior in high school because I was still with high school friends. Yeah. So. You don't even know where you were in your I would, high school? I would wake up at, no, I had to be, I had to be in college already and then just went on a trip with them. I would wake up every day and immediately start drinking. See, it's not my life. I would like I would like a nice like acai bowl. You know oh. I like a like a juicy salad. You are so not acai bowl because it's too many um <laughs> it's too many seeds. Like I don't like the strawberry seeds. I don't watermelon is overrated. I'm waking up and I'm saying let's get this party started. With alcohol. That's how I just spice? loosen up. Can otherwise I'm loose? otherwise I'm take a lap. No, otherwise I'm tense tense. And I'm probably going to be super mean when I get drunk. I'm nicer to my friends. I'm like, ah, I love you. Who's Bobby? From Bobby. Who is Bobby? From Friends. It was in the earlier season. Speaking of Friends. Bobby. Speaking of Friends, let's talk about Michael Rappaport. Who would you say Michael Rappaport played on? Uh, He was Phoebe's boyfriend in, like, I feel like in the middle of, um... The middle of the uh, show, and he like shot a bird because it was like squeaking uh, constantly, and she was like, "Oh my god, oh, okay." Michael Rappaport. What are we talking about him? Michael Rappaport. I'll show his picture here because no one knows his name, but they know who he is most likely. <laughs> yes. He has been in some beefs this week. Twitter beefs. Why, why do we? But why do we care about Michael Rappaport? What is he? If you don't. <laughs> Dog, I need you to chill a bit. Q 
keep going. Why do we care about Mac- Michael Rappaport? I don't know. You tell me. Do you care about Michael Rappaport? Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> Only a little bit. Excuse me. Computer. Yeah. At me. Oh, <sighs> my life Bonus is... This episode is a hot mess. This is after dark. This is what happens. Things are a mess after dark. Okay. Michael Rappaport, first of all, is in a beef with Dave Portnoy and Barstool Sports. You know Dave. Yeah. I showed you his sex tape earlier. Yes. Peep it right here. Oh, my gosh. Don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I shouldn't show. No. This is a screenshot. Wait, no. We can't show a screenshot of that. He is literally got... Dave had... Um... Dave literally had this girl um, in a collar yanking it back. Yes. He spits on her face later in the video. But we why, didn't get to that. Why do we care if this is his third um, sex tape leak? Like if, we, like if if people are in an uproar because it's a little kinky, then that's it. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Wait. Did, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my butt's so warm. You know what yeah. I also hate other than wet socks is a warm butt. Um, I hate... You know, like when you're sitting in a chair and then I come over and I'm like, I need to sit here and it's so you, warm. Oh yeah. I'm like... I find this... it uncomfortable, but I can power through. Pet peeves. Wet socks, wet hands, warm butts. Don't touch me with wet hands. Yeah. Don't make me sit in the seat with wet... You know what I don't warm. Like? Uh, do you need a minute? Uh, let me say what I don't like. When like you're in the shower and the shower t- curtain touches you, it doesn't even matter because it's, it's, it's the feeling of uh, like that weird slap. Uh, that's like, don't touch me, please. Get the heck off of me. No. It's like you know it's, it's abrupt. Gr- you know it's grimy and gross and probably needs a new one. Even if it's clean, even when it's clean, it's it's it's. A weird feeling. Let me let me play these videos that I had. Um, this dude. I don't know if I deleted them all. This dude. The Santas and Publix partnership is sketchy. Publix. Uh, I these are I things do. I needed an angel opinion on to be like, am I crazy? Like, is this wrong or mm-hmm. is like this is okay? You're recording right on the thing. Of course, I've been recording the entire time. That's this is this a picture? No, this is a video. Play. That's What's wrong with you? Let me turn this thing up. Maybe that would help. Action Committee, friends. So why did the governor choose Publix? Campaign finance reports obtained by 60 Minutes show that weeks before the governor's announcement, Publix donated $100,000 to his political action committee, friends of Ron DeSantis. Julie Jenkins Fancelli, heiress to the Publix fortune, has given $55,000 to the governor's PAC in the past, and in November, Fancelli's brother-in-law, Hoyt R. Barnett, a retired Publix executive, donated $25,000. Publix did not respond to our request for comment about the donations. Governor DeSantis is up for re-election next year. Distributing vaccines is lucrative. Under federal guidelines, Publix, like any other private company, can charge Medicare $40 a shot to administer the vaccine. See, I hate the the greedy hands of capitalism and like the this this where like the rich only want to get richer and they're like, hey, I want to get richer off of this, and the other ones are like, bet, let's let's do this, let's take advantage of the people that you know. Let's make that money. Yeah. And it's like it's it's really annoying. It's so annoying. It was to the, and that they can abuse that. I love capitalism. Yeah, but when I love Monopoly when I'm winning too. Even when I saw this, I was like, something about this seems off. Yeah, and it's like blatantly sketchy actions that are just because it's normal, because nobody's making a big deal out of it, or not enough people are making a big deal out of it that they can just be like, okay, we're just gonna keep doing this. Don't worry about us, you know, taking your money from you. And even if it's taken from, like, the insurance that you have, the insurance is still aware. The insurance is going to document that as well. And who knows? They can just go. They can For most people in most places, 
the vaccine is free. Yes. You can just go in and get it because they want everyone to get it. Yeah. But Publix apparently can charge people for it. Yeah. Which, like... It's like, how do you... if Like, we've been in this panini press for so long, and how are you just like... I love that's that's your go-to. Mine's Panorama yeah, or Panasonic. I like the long way. Your panini press all yeah. the time. Or Pandy. Pandas. I press. like Pandy. Yeah, I like the whole thing. But, like, how... That feels, like, immoral. Like, how immoral do you have to be to take advantage of the system when you're already, already, like, given so many advantages? You're, like, she's the heiress to Publix, to that fortune lady. I mean, I mean, I understand keeping your legacy alive, your family thriving, but god dang. Anyway, you know... When I and when we say like eat the rich, this is the sort of eating I would like to happen, you know, eat these rich people. Um, yeah, so I say eat the rich, eat uh, the rich, eat the rich. Okay, this I is was what I mean. talking to another worker the other day. Mm-hmm. I watched, I read this book by Machiavelli. Have mm-hmm. you ever Machiavelli? Machiavelli, oh, okay, Machiavelli. I believe you. <laughs> His, the book is called The Art of War. Uh-huh. One of the best things, and I think I'm going to start bringing up just like points from his book every episode. Okay. It's They better be interesting. <laughs> it is when an enemy strikes you, mm-hmm. strike them back so hard that they cannot get back up. Okay. Now, I think that statement is like, who has the resources to usually strike back? At, when you're at this level, when it's you're like at our level, like that guy who resources. yelled at you earlier today, yeah. you need to strike him back so hard that he cannot say anything. But else. at the same time, like situations like that, I'm not confrontational. Like mm. I'm not confrontational. At I will all. not. Like, my I will not put up after with that. It. And it wasn't even like a big thing, but like I don't like that's such. Rude I behavior. took a pen outside and uh-huh. I because I was like. If he comes up to me, I will stab this man dead right now. <laughs> yeah. I will strike him so hard he will one not of the get that. that we have in the back. And Bam. Just like because that's less like intrusive, but you could get a lot out of it. I if was you stab him with the pain, you have to run. I was so but No, I, why would I run? Because I, if you stab so, are you gonna was, keep hold of it, keep a good grip and yes. like, boom 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 yes. boom. Okay. I will boom 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 boom. Bang 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 bang. bang. Call the cops. Yeah. And be like, this man just attacked me. Self defense. Mm-hmm. I just stabbed him with a pen. Yes. Because I felt threatened for my life. He's been threatening me from before. Mm-hmm. He needed to go down. Yeah. Yeah. So that I could be okay. I just feel like situations like that, it makes me so nervous, you know? So nervous about, like, you know, you see so many different headlines, you don't want to be a part of a headline. Do we want to talk about more things, or are you gotta no. go? No. Let's get out of here. We gotta go. I spilled wine all over myself. Wait, I didn't do an outro. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, reviews on Apple Podcasts, five stars only. If you're not gonna do five stars, get the hell out. YouTube, don't forget to like. If you watch and you don't comment, you didn't really watch. So, yeah.